Prokaryotes are extremely diverse in some ways and extremely self-similar in other ways. For example, there are many phenotypes that are only observed in one specific strain. For example, Vibrio fisheri forms light generating organs within a specific species of squid. Other bacteria interact with plants such as Acrobacterium. Some live in soil and will have elaborate developmental processes. For example, Myxococcus xanthus forms fruiting bodies that emit spores. Many of these exotic phenotypes are exploited in biotech applications. Some Acetobacter strains secrete a form of cellulose that is used to make microphone membranes. Many of the natural product small molecules used as drugs, including erythromycin, come from specific strains of bacteria. Also, bioremediation of chemical spills, including oil, happens due to the action of specific strains of bacteria. Yet most of the genes in any given prokaryote are the same as all the others. There are a core set of processes associated with cell growth and division, the central dogma processes, primary metabolism, and environmental sensing that are all ubiquitous to all eukaryotes and largely invariant in their details. Total, this requires about 3,000 genes to encode and thus about 3 million bases of DNA. The set of genes involved in these processes is a base per base identical amongst many enterobacterial genuses, and clear homology to those genes is present in other prokaryotes. There have been extensive efforts to define the minimal chassis needed to sustain life, which to a first approximation is these 3,000 genes. One study by Blattner involved removing many chunks of the K12 genome to whittle it down to its minimum. In this figure, the inner rings indicate deletions present in other enterobacteria, and the outermost ring indicates those that were successfully removed from MG1655 in combination. Other groups have focused on defining this minimal chassis in a more extreme sense. The mycoplasma are pathogenic bacteria that are so dependent on host cells that most of the metabolism is absent from their genome. As such, their genomes are under a megabase, and the smallest is only 582 kb. The smallest free-living bacterium is Pelagibacter ubiqui, with only 1.3 megabases. Thus, it is possible to have something smaller than 3 MB. However, most bacteria have 3 MB of these housekeeping functions. The additional DNA that one finds in a bacterial genome encodes processes that aid the, the strain's survival in some particular environmental niche. Sometimes these added genes are to survive in soil, others are for fighting with other organisms, while others are for colonizing other organisms. It is amongst these genes that a great deal of diversity is found.